All right, suppose you're in a situation where you want to use that side chaining filtering on a compressor, like a stereo bus compressor, but it doesn't have that built in. I'll give you, I'll show you how to create your own signal flow wise and ask me questions if this doesn't make any sense to you. So I'm going to start by using this uh, impact compressor because it's pretty grabby, so pretty obvious. I'm going to take that same track I used in the song in the previous video. So I'm going to grab the impact, which is uh, Avid. Grab that and grab impact. Uh, ratios four to one. Make the attack quick. Make the release quick, and start bringing that threshold down. So you can hear that this is. Um, creating a lot of pumping with that kick drum in there that I want to filter out with using this compressor. So in order to do that, I'm going to mute this track real quick and I'm going to duplicate it. Want to duplicate? I'm going to turn the, take the impact off of the second one. I'll just call it electronic um, filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this track to send a to apply a high pass filter on that track so cat um so i'm going to grab an eq let's just grab that fab filter again and sound quality or phase issues aren't going to matter i just want something that sounds really sharp so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this and set it to low cut or high pass filter if you will and i'm going to set it to its steepest well, maybe not as steep as we'll just do like 36 dB per octave and set it up fairly high, maybe around 200 ish, 150 ish, somewhere around there. Um, and this is what it sounds like with that filter applied. <laughs> sure. Maybe raise that frequency a little bit. So now this is going to be what's being sent to the compressor. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to now take the send and I'm going to take it out of my stereo mix and I'm going to send it out bus one and two. And I'm going to mute the track or it doesn't matter. I'm going to unmute the track actually is the best way to do it. Unmute the track and then go to my compressor and here this key input, this key input I can set to bus one. It only accepts mono inputs for a key. And the nice thing about this compressor is this allows me to listen to the side chain. So I click listen. I can hear what it's going to be triggering off of. I can turn that listen off. And with that listen turned off, I have the compressor as it originally was. Now, when I click this external button, it's then going to change to compressing off of that filtered signal, the second track here. So I'm going to click on external. So you can hear with that external switched on and it's using that filtered signal to trigger the compressor as opposed to the audio that's going through it. That way the kicks sound intact. They have that nice attack still and sort of everything else is kind of being compressed a little bit. So again, this is uh, with the side chain off. And the side chain on. There. So you can hear the difference. So that's a way that you can use this high pass filtering on a signal on a compressor that may not have that side chain filtering built in.